To fill this kind of geometry, we'll use two command. First is through curves, and second is through curve mesh. Let us start with through curve first. So we'll go to through curves. Select this set as the first set, and the other set as this one. We need to maintain tangency on both the sides, so I am giving these surfaces first face and this surface the second face. We have maintained G1 tangency on both the sides. Press OK. Same thing we will do here. First set, second set. Apply tangency to both the sides. If you get this kind of error. Just make sure that the arrow is at the same direction. Here the arrow is pointing here, and here the arrow is pointing that side. These should be on both the same sides. So I'll double click here. Press OK. To make the intersection here, we use extend command. Now we can trim the remaining portion. Discard. This object again. Discard this sheet using this option. We'll use the same thing here through curves and maintain the tangency on both the sides. Extend the sheets. And trim this with this one. Now we are left with this portion. To fill this portion, I'll use one more command, although that is not required here. But for the training purpose, bridge curve. Select this section first, and the other section at this side. We have applied G1 tangency at both the sides. Press OK. Same thing here also. Now we'll use through curve mesh command. First, second. This is the cross curve one, and this is the cross curve two. We won't use any tangency here. But if you want, and you should apply the tangency here and here. So we'll double-click it again. So this is the first primary. For first primary, we are selecting this patch, and for the second primary, we are selecting this patch. We could also fill this portion using the through curve command as we have used earlier. For this portion also, we could use through curve mesh. Using the same method, we will apply tangency to both the sides. Let's hope we don't get an error. Okay, so we are getting an error here, but it was still maintain a sheet here. To avoid this error, what you should do is you should use through curve command here also, like this. Through curve, first and second, first section and last section. We didn't get any error for this, but keep in mind you need to trim these sheets as well. And trim this one using this one. Now we are left with this through curves. Make the intersection here. Now they are perfectly matching. 
Now we have come here. We'll use the same method through curves. First and last section. Here we could use through curve mesh command. But if it but if it gives an error, we'll use the through curve command here also. First, second primary, cross curve one, and then cross curve two. And here we need to apply the tangency. First primary, this one. So we are getting an error. That means we could use through curves command here also. Through curves. Now we need to intersect these sheets. Here also we'll do the same. We need to extend it a little bit. Now use the same command trim. So we're going to keep this sheet and cut it through this sheet and we are going to keep this sheet and cut it using this sheet. Now we have to sew everything. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. So these are all combined but we need to tie both these bodies together. We'll use the same sew command here also. First second and third press ok I will use this option shaded option to be our geometry as we can see there are no abruptions here that means we have smoothly filled our geometry using the through curves command 